hey my friends so have you heard about personal branding I bet you have you've been trying to sell a course maybe and you're you're hearing about personal branding you're wondering what is exactly what it is how to use it how to best use it on social media especially trying to build a business online today it's all about social media it's all about relationships it's all about building a fan base building a followers like how do you do all that how do you use personal branding and maybe what is personal branding really right and why does it matter if you're trying to build a business online why does it matter if you're trying to sell courses why does it matter why do you need to know what personal branding is and why do you need to care about it we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so one of the things that seemed really really obvious to me when I first started was that a personal brand is just me right <clears throat> and maybe you've already come to that conclusion that the personal brand is all about you about you talking about you your personality everything it doesn't mean and the thing that maybe <clears throat> I learned over the years is that it doesn't mean that you have to spill everything out about yourself it's not about that it's it's more about having a connection with your audience and letting them know you you know knowing your mannerisms like me I move my hands a lot you see that and you know what is it you know I have a house I have a job I have a day job I build my brand on social media on different platforms and you know how do you best use personal branding without having to <clears throat> say everything about everything you certainly don't have to do that and if you're trying to build a business online why is it that you need to be you know focusing on personal branding and yeah let's get into that and just just right now let's just go ahead and show you my social media platforms which you probably have already seen so let me just open up a new browser here um and let's go to my well let's start with Facebook right because I mean Facebook is definitely one of the platforms that everybody um everybody you know uh starts with uh and if you're if you don't have a, a Facebook account well you probably should get one right let's just make this uh just fill the screen here yeah so if I go to facebook.com you can see so there's a few things right F so first of all personal branding like I said is a definition of you of what you're about uh, what your values are what your your life is you know and not with not having to tell everything to everybody and you know like for me um it's it's about like see this is a picture here I posted a year ago whoops where's my screen is not very <clears throat> so a year ago uh where I was uh, getting my new apartment out in Montreal I had a picture there so I'm kind of showing people what you know my life what's going on in my life and there's some pictures if you go if I go to my timeline my actual profile you can see that I post things about uh, like my daughter here who had her birthday uh, cake I don't know why the picture is, is showing up like this but this is the picture here a picture of her a birthday cake that I made so I talk about that <clears throat> and then you know this morning there was a nice really nice uh sun sunrise um <clears throat> got some comments on here lots of people liking that I have to go and comment back and that's the other thing right when you're building your brand on social media you got to be engaging you got to be you know showing people that you have seen their stuff and you should be commenting so I'm actually going to say thanks and I like to tag everybody all the time that uh, re responds you too <clears throat> and then Brooke over here <clears throat> Brooke right I'm going to comment back here and I'm gonna go and love this instead I just uh, and Moses you know right so you comment back you you got to engage 
on people's comments especially on your stuff you got to go to their profile that I mean, that's all that but that's not personal branding personal branding is about having something about you like if I look at if I look at my LinkedIn profile right I'm on LinkedIn as well if I look at my Twitter let's just load them all up right twitter.com if I go to Instagram and I go to uh, where else YouTube so if I go to my Twitter if I go to my own profile right here my profile right there and if I go to my profile on <coughs> on Instagram <coughs> These are these are taking a while to load right but anyway so that's the thing so on the different platforms you want to be congruent that's another thing that's important you got to have something that's that they recognize you if you if I go to my if I go to my LinkedIn profile right here I go to my Twitter profile things are congruent I mean I have the same cover photo um on here and on here let's get those out of there uh, I have the same cover photo here if I go to Instagram I have the same profile picture right the profile picture is the same uh then I have on on Twitter uh, then I have on Inst on LinkedIn right on Facebook as well it's the same profile picture so that's the other thing you got to be congruent but you know your personal brand is about letting people know who you are because I don't know if you've seen the episode from yesterday you've heard the episode from yesterday we talked about um the uh, importance of no like trust right so the no like trust factor is gonna grow so what we what, what that means the no like trust factor it means that you're getting people to know you so that they like you so they trust you so eventually they buy from you so that's kind of like a sequence people won't won't trust you unless they like you and they won't like you unless they know you so you got to get them to know you and how do you get them to know you is by doing this what I'm talking about personal branding is posting content that lets people know who you are what you're about what do you care about right I mean when people look at my profile here they they get an idea that I care about my family they they could see that I I'm teaching this course income secret stuff right they see I like plants and they see I like you know having uh things go, family activities and they see I do renovation and they see all these things that I post right if you go on my YouTube if I go to YouTube here where's my channel <coughs> You see the same again again the same cover photo the same profile picture and then the videos I have on well I mean on on YouTube you can't there's no profile you can't really so you can't have anything like if I have on Instagram you can see that I talk about TikTok business and on on Twitter as well I learn how to leverage TikTok right on LinkedIn I'm a TikTok master course creator right so there's there's some congruency across the board here on Facebook I haven't I don't think I've done that um where's the on Facebook there's also a little thing I, I just have helping attraction marketers from digital courses right so I mean there's the congruency there that you have to have the cover photo on Facebook is one of the things I because it's a personal profile really personal I update it with a I wonder if can I uh reposition it oh I can I can do that like that there you go that looks better save that so that it looks better like this to have it with her face showing right <laughs> um but so that and that's the thing so personal branding is about you it's about letting people know who you are what you're about you know what your values are do you care more about uh the world peace or do you care more about helping people locally or or, or nationally or do you want to grow something a, a world organization right what are the things that you care about do you care about family do you care about um you know eating healthy do you care about exercising do you care about um helping the elderly do you care about helping children do you do you, uh, have a, an animal are you an animal lover do you love horses what is it that you're interested in right what are your interests and the reason why that's important is because as a personal brand it allows people to know whether they they'll want to know more about you right and that's kind of how people start to like you right by by knowing you more by knowing more about you by by seeing seeing things so then so that's what then what happens is once you have and and the other thing too is that by by being you by by building your personal brand 
you don't have to worry about oh you know if, if you're trying to make up a persona or somebody who's who's better than what you are or you know whatever you think you should be that you're not that becomes harder because you constantly have to remember oh what is it that I have to like can I wear this can I talk like this can I talk about this topic can I can I do this can I do that right and that becomes more and more harder because as time grows goes on you you keep having to remember obviously if you're very specific then maybe it becomes easier because you're always that person right but that's not really recommended because that's not really you like what if they meet you in person or what if you you decide to post something that's that's more personal that's not in congruency with whatever you made up as a person right <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> I should have some water here but anyways so that's what personal branding is all about it's getting people to know like and trust you so that they know what you're like I said what you're about what you're so when I look at say for example my Instagram feed you can see that on Instagram I post some some things like this right I post <clears throat> some of the I, I planted these little trees here there's my daughter I mean uh, sunsets sunrises obviously you see I like those those things you see I like uh, uh flowers right um and this is a picture of our house here I mean it's it, in the renovations you know stuff like that if you go to my Twitter feed you can see all the different things that are in here too I mean it's all about some of these posts are my simple online strategies there's a, some of the older posts you can see the the sunset here or sunrise I should say <clears throat> uh there's and there's things in here that are uh, promotions right I promote things on uh, Twitter more than elsewhere um, but but it's all there's also some personal stuff in there that you can kind of see what I'm about what I what I like same thing on all the platforms on on YouTube it's that's where I post my my actual videos right so I mean these are the videos I post that you can see on my blog and there's yeah and then of course there is my blog right jean which is basically all my posts I have on here right so if you want to find something about my post and now that's not that's not personal branding this is my 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 blog it's about my daily episodes it's about what I teach you know what I what I'm trying to help others learn right course income secrets right it's all about uh, building a business online what are the different things you need to know like I, I talked about uh, yesterday's episode or the day before there's a lot of stuff to learn right and but that's kind of how I I've done it right I build this like this and um, what else what else can I tell you about personal branding so yeah so you got to make sure that your um, your personal profiles on the different platforms are the same so people know who you are who you are and do you need to use all the platforms no you don't you don't need to be on every platform you can just start with one you can start with just Facebook just LinkedIn just Instagram just Twitter I mean TikTok whatever you want right you don't have to be on all the platforms it's not it's you don't you know you don't need to obviously right it's just um it's just me because over the years I've grown to have the all the platforms right I've grown to know all the platforms and as I go I start to add to this platform that platform that platform right and I grow my followers and eventually you get people that are that become fans and the people that are fans eventually become super fans and those are the people that really connect with you because they know what you're about they follow you and they like your content and they learn from you because that they just connect with it they relate to it right and that's one of the things you got to do is have people relate to you um and personal branding is is really just about being you about posting your stuff about posting about you about doing like videos like this right where you're actually live I actually forgot that my little uh, video image was on top here let's put it down here where it belongs usually and that's the thing so I mean that's well yeah so that's what personal branding is I mean in the next episode uh in, or maybe not the next one but soon I'll do an episode on more technical stuff right like for example setting up your pixels in in different platforms how to create your how to set up your blog so that people that 
uh see your blog you follow them or they or yeah you follow them on on social media platforms right you can do that on Facebook on LinkedIn on um YouTube you can do that on uh, Google searches there's lots of different ways you can have people <coughs> you can know what they're interested in and show them ads right but I mean that's only if you have the budget for it if you don't have the budget then you should be doing engagement so personal and like I said if I if I look at this I need to be you know commenting on these things hey good morning Monica all right there you go and there we go good so you know that's the thing you gotta <laughs> engage on everything if you engage on things then people start to see your stuff and that's another thing right there's reciprocity involved on social media <laughs> without reciprocity your stuff won't be seen by other people so me come posting something here is actually um that's one of the things that happens is you post something and people see it and then if you if they reply then more people will see it and if I reply even more people will see it because the platform knows that I'm actually active there you go there so that's the the comments and uh, most relevant I don't know why Facebook always does that I just want to see all the comments you don't need to show me most relevant ones all of them show them all show me all the comments I don't know I wish there was a way to I don't make that so that it's a default right because that's kind of what I want I always want to see all the comments there's no reason to see I mean I guess if you have a thousand comments then maybe you won't do that right and so maybe they should have that as an option for when you have a lot of comments but when you have only 20 or 50 or whatever then it's still you know nice collection hey eh? that's that's funny <laughs> there we go and uh see what else did I have any other I uh, had this thing is there another there's another comment so there so I mean um I'm, I don't I don't spend enough time on social media engaging because that's one of the things that's really important if you want your content to be seen by others you've got to be engaging on the especially on content that people are are, are commenting here right uh, set. so this is uh, somebody who probably came to my profile and just you know liked lots of my stuff right <clears throat> you just commented new new things and you know just doing that uh commenting on things letting people see that so you see these these ones that are just these shares that I'm doing of the different course income secrets uh episodes those ones I'm not getting comments see I'm not getting comments because they're the platform is not showing it to people if I if this one here says I have <clears throat> two others I have two people here Jason oh he's not a friend though I should add him as friend he keeps commenting every, everywhere on my stuff so oh I don't know who that is Crystal Dush <laughs> I'll have to take a look but anyway so that's the thing so those posts aren't being seen by too many people because Facebook doesn't they're like ah, you know we don't really like this it's not really um and yesterday I actually posted the episode I posted yesterday which has nothing to do with no no real difference to other posts but all, all of a sudden I got like 20 different messages from Facebook saying that I did it I spammed right what's up with that right things change over time and Facebook I don't know how they make that decision but and obviously it's nothing to do with the content because it's no 
I mean every day I do different different episodes why would that one be marked as spam versus uh, the 50 others I did over the last couple of weeks right but anyways that's what personal branding is all about personal branding is about you being you if you're if you're not sure about whether you're doing it right just think of this are you being you are you acting as yourself if you were to go to a barbecue in a local neighborhood would you be any different than what you're doing right so if you're not doing what you would normally do then yeah maybe you need to practice being you you got to be really you that's the most important part personal branding is all about you uh, if you think about a business that's branding themselves like coca-cola nike uh, kleenex uh, band-aids you know whatever those those brands if you you know what they are just because you you've seen them so much and that's what personal branding is about is building your content so that people will see it so much that they'll eventually know what you are what you're about even what you sell they'll know that at least you're about I don't know social um you're about the uh, uh, education of educating people online or maybe you're about is losing weight or maybe you're about uh, solar power right maybe you're about um, healthy eating maybe you're about uh, um oil uh what's the word the oils no what's the those oils those essential oils right maybe you're about essential oils maybe you're about cbd oil right the the um uh the, the mar not marijuana but i mean cbd oil right that stuff i mean there's so many things out there and if i want to know if i if i decide i want to buy one thing it's good if i know who sells it right so i'm not saying you spam about your sales because people aren't interested in seeing that all the time what I'm saying though is that you talk about yourself you 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 um you know post about your life and then once in a while maybe you say that you're about this you know you're about weight loss or you're about cbd oil you don't have to talk about the company you're in or anything like that but at least let people know that that's what you're in and if they're interested they can they, they would know but there's other training that talks about not posting about that and I'm not saying that you sh that you necessarily should be posting about it I'm just saying that at least if they know what you're about they might they would remember and they would connect with you whenever they want that right but the better way of course is to talk to them in person about what you're what you're into <coughs> because the idea is you want to be somebody who uh, they they feel connected with and by having a conversation with them you can decide whether you even want to talk to them about what your product is right because you know they you don't want to just tell people hey I sell this that's definitely not a good way to do it your personal brand is all about how you behave as well so if you're trying to connect with somebody and you try to sell them as soon as you connect with them then your personal brand is you're a spammer you're a spammy you're a, you're a pusher of goods right you don't want to be like that so what you want is you want people to remember that you're a cool dude or gal that's interested in them so whenever you reach out whenever you have a conversation you ask them questions about them you tell them you let them know that you've seen their profile that you've seen what they're about and ask them about that stuff right that makes them feel like you care about them and then they care about what you have to offer maybe right uh, but if you don't do that they're not going to be interested in your stuff so just just remember that right and that's all part of personal brand personal brand is like I said I keep saying it's you you are the personal brand you are the 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 thing that's being sold it's you it's not your product it's not your company it's not your opportunity it's not your platform it's none of that it's it's you it's like me I'm 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 a guy who's a programmer who does all these crazy things online and I'm building a platform but I'm the I'm the thing that's being sold it's not my platform right so I hope this kind of explained a little bit what personal branding is all about and just remember that you have to go on social media you got to be you know you got to be posting regular stuff you got to be telling letting people know what you're about you know what you're what what you're into what you're interested in what are your things that you like to show people uh, you know uh, what what you are what are you right what are you what are you are you a person who likes a or b right are you a person who agrees with a or b what is it that you're about that's the secret 
to building a personal brand the right way all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.